as for a moment like this, I decide to come on here and show a little something different. I've been taking my breaks from doing videos for about a couple of days and decided that since there's a certain thing I've been working on, I've worked on something and sort of like, you know, drew out the lines on the block where I was attempting to make it into little guinea pigs, but it didn't turn out that way and once I got all the work done into it, they came out as little baby bears, so you can kind of see this is a little baby polar bear as it came out, and so is this one. And there is one here that I didn't burn the detail into it yet, but I finished carving it. Decided after I burnt the detail in the first two, and that was what they came out to be, I had one more blank left, which I'll be carving today, and... I took a couple other pieces of Tuplio, which given their shape, I was able to round them off with the saw a little more to make them where they'd be about a good size to make little mother bears out of. So it's going to be two mother bears, that's each of which are going to have their two little baby bears. And we're going to demonstrate today a little more on how we're going to carve the baby bear. You can kind of see here, I have sort of drawn these lines and there's a certain line we're going to cut first that is the one that is behind the ear and we're going to get that to come in here as soon as we can and make it so it's going to be a little lightweight to carve I say that we're going to get the knife in here and we've kind of made these two little valleys in here behind the ears and there's a certain one we kind of cut up here in the front as well and make another little place for another ear to come about and that is where it's going to come and we've got to take the little lines and make it so they're going to be right And as you see, we kind of got the top done out here. So there's another little place where we kind of need to make it so it'll come along just a little better. And finally, get it so the ears are going to come here. We kind of carved out a little space where we sort of did the nose there. And there's a little place here where we're going to carve along this triangle at the end to make the chin. We might kind of get a little different bit of a knife here so we can kind of get it a little more right here. Because, you know, you might need a little sharper or bigger blade to do a little something like this. So, and I'm not supposed to saw with the knife. That's something they taught me a long time ago in Guild not to do. Problem is, sometimes I do it anyway. That's really not good for the knife. So, I mean, you know, there's some things you say I kind of do all wrong sometimes. So, we're kind of taken care of this little mess here what it's going to be and I say that there's a place here where we carved the front leg here I've already knifed in that little line that's supposed to be there and kind of like oh the little space comes in it's just 
trying to kind of keep it in a little more and finally we got the work to come along we're going to try to I already did a little thing to make the side of the face here and we're going to carve along another little line to make the other side of the face here and there's little places where here we kind of made another line to make the top of the leg and we're going to carve along it to kind of make it so there's a little cut in here to come the longer way and Whoa, I say your little work is like this, and, well, I tell you, we got a little too much off now, but that's kind of how it goes when you're filming yourself doing it. You're not used to doing it that way, but I'd say that this is how it's going to come out best. We're going to kind of make a line from the ear to the foot so we kind of drew a little thing here make it so the line shall come out as good as it ought to be and we're gonna have a little work come in here and usually a little thing like this it doesn't take long to carve but I do think I probably kind of over sharpened this knife and probably didn't get it sharp enough to work so that's how we come along there you can kind of look at others just to see how ideas come along and get demonstrations we're going to cut the line here to make this other foot and kind of cut along it and in the edge we kind of make it so it's got to come out right and in this little thing here, we're going to, I kind of just took it out of the top of the leg too here. And we're going to take this other line here. Well, so I say that we got the work to come its way, making itself so we got a little ways to go. Now I say that there's a place where we come along the head. We're going to try to shave off what is at the top there and. And I say, take a little work here and make it so it's going to take its way to the top. Come by here come by to make the nose here that's how we kind of got the front to look now and as we round things off a bit kind of make it so comes out just perfect there's a place in the front where we take some off the chin to kind of make the what is the four legs and as we come up with the four legs here 
it's going to come to a place where we will have the feet. And I say that this little bit of work is going to be a great piece of work. And there we came up with the front of the face here. Probably got a little extra work to do here. We're going to try to trim the ears a little bit more to the side. Try to make it so they look a little better. Seems like they're going to get a little flatter in the end. And there's a place where we're going to carve along this and make it so it comes out so much nicer, brighter in the ways. And I say that little work is taking its toll on us, making us so we see a little things come out a little differently and come up with the very bare as you see it. It's time now to kind of go around the back and the butt so try to we're going to cut along there and make the little lines here. It's okay if you chip a little bit off the back because it's supposed to come off round in the end anyway. So we got a little work here that's going to come along right. The bear is going to look good in the end. It's going to look awesome. Make its little way to us. And I say that this is how it's going to come. This is how it's going to look. I say that we round off the feet a little bit. Make the bear so it comes out good and even. And as for a little work we do here, kind of make the teddy bear so the ears will come out right, they will come out even, and I say that it does get a little difficult when you start doing it on a camera, but that's how it goes until you get practiced enough. I think we're going to correct these ears a little bit where they've been chipped, and this is how it looks. Try to even them out as much as we can, but it can be a difficult process to do. So I'd say that they're going to come out great enough in the end, so that's how we take care of this matter, and we're going to come along the back as well, take a little chips into the place where the saw marks have made, and hopefully when this all comes out, we'll have the right kind of baby little bear. So, I'd say except for the ears, we got this to turn out as good as it needs to be. There's probably a place or two I have to fix on this. Sometimes when you make little accidents when you carve, you kind of have to do other things to kind of make up for the accidents to kind of 
perfected out. And so that's what we've done here. So it's going to come down now to where we start to sand the baby bear. And I might get done with this and take the camera over to the wood burner where I can do a little demonstration on how we're going to burn the details in. That'll be a little good extra work to come along to it. And I'd say that we're going to try to take care of this thing the best we know how. I'll say that we're going to try to sand it a little more. Make it so we get rid of all the worst lines in it. Get rid of all the facets. So it comes out to be a smooth little baby bear. So now we're coming along better on this, making it so the work comes out right. We know that we start out with a tougher grit and go to a lighter one in the end. So let's see, let's make sure we've got all the facets out of here and take care of this little teddy bear as it needs to be. And you know, you always say in, in wood carving and in art that it is what it looks like. So, it, that's how it's always going to turn out, you know. What it looks like is what it is. So, Sometimes it's hard to make things out exactly for what you want them to be, but it'll all, one day, you get a hang of it, and eventually you get to where you can make it what you mean for it to be. I'd say we got the worst of the lines out of here. We're taking care of things as best as, as we need them to be. So, there's a little time when finally you get down to a much lighter grit. And you take the lighter grit and sort of sand off all the extra dust and roughness that comes along the first and and I'd say we probably are getting off on the wrong one here but there's one little thing I forgot to do is carve the little triangle in between the two front feet you don't want to forget that because that's the way you want them all to turn out if the other three have it, you want this one to have it too. So, I say that this little bit of work, she'll make its way to you. Take on a little place in life where you know what you're going to do what you're going to be. Oh, I say that this little work of art is just kind of taking its way over to us and I say making the things come out just as they ought to be.
And finally, we got all this sanding on here done. And so, there's probably a line or two we need to go back to the rougher grit to get out. But there's a little more. And then finally, this is what it'll all come down to. Probably need to uh, keep seeing these lines as I'm doing this on tape. And it's a little hard to keep it all together and under control like it ought to be. So we got the work coming along here, making it so it's all a lot of good work in the end and finally come down to having the little face so of course on this one the ears didn't turn out as good as they did on the others but there's a little solution to that we can kind of take a little bit more off the top of the head and, and in the center of the head between the ears to make them come out a little better and that right there is exactly what we are doing so we're going to stand a little bit in here and we've come a long ways to make it so that it all comes a long way and makes itself good for us so one last little thing we need to do here kind of narrow down the nose and give it its best sanding it needs so I say for a video that's where we are now and as for now I'm gonna stop it right here and we're going to go over to the wood burner where we are going to demonstrate how to do all the rest. As you all are sure to see here, I have drawn in some little lines from which to make the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. So there's kind of a few steps involved here. We're going to take them. I've got the wood burner right here. You know, you can kind of set it to your desired setting. I kind of set it to about eight. It's a razor tip and so a razor tip wood burner. So there's little things we do here. We kind of wait for it to warm up a little bit. And there's like two different tips I use. I use like a, reg a writing tip and a skew tip. I don't even know the names for these. I keep forgetting it keeps slipping my mind. And, you know, they have certain numbers and all that come with them. So I tell you, that's how it is. We're going to first of all take the skew tip and burn in the little line for the nose. That's because we use a different tip for the other steps. I'm going to do it on both of these. And, you know, there's a little switch on it that goes from one pin to the other. So you can, like, hook up two pins to it to work with at once. And kind of keep one turned off while you're working with the other. So that's how it is today with our work. I think I might have gotten a little blood on this one or something, but I can just sand that off. I will say there's a little tip we do just to put in a little skew tip to make the eyes. I tell you, apparently, I've done something wrong here. I don't know what happened here.
well, yeah, that's what it is. There was something wrong there. Had to just flip it over the switch again just to get it right. But I'm going to burn in the little mouth here. That's a good little step we take to try to make a little place in life for that. And we're going to try to burn in the little eyes here next. That was what I was wanting to do at first when the pin wasn't working. But you can kind of do it either way. Do it in either order. But that's kind of how the process goes. How the process works. Finally, we got the little details burnt out. There comes a time when we get done with this. We take a little light grit sandpaper to kind of, you know, even out the burning so that it's not so dark and so wide. So here we got the little face put in. We're going to take care of the eyes again. There's a way I have of doing it. Kind of try to take the tip and go every little direction here and we come up with this so I'd say of all things we've got some sandpaper here in the shop I've probably got what here is a 220 grit and you know a 220 or a 240 they'll both work about the same but here's how I'm going to go about it kind of remove some of this just to kind of get rid of the extra black in the burning get, kind of get rid of all the pencil mark and everything else that goes in there try to say that oh a lot of work is just going to be a monstrous thing to us and oh just what it is what it does I think this bear is turning out better than I thought it would in the beginning, so it's probably one where, and with this one too, it's they probably didn't turn out quite the same, but I'd say with a little work, they can. Hopefully sometime I'll get around to doing a video where I carved the mama bear, so you know, she's of similar steps, and the steps are quite the same with her, so that'll be quite simple to do, And except you'll probably be making bigger cuts because it's a bigger piece, but other than that, it's kind of like I'd say the same kind of work. So we're getting along on this and making it so that things will kind of come out so much more for the better and... Oh, the days are getting brighter and lighter, and oh, I say it's fall, so what can I say? I've got an autism walk to do tomorrow with my stuff, and be, be putting my stuff out there just to kind of be sold, and I'd say that I'm, I always enjoy being out at these events. I go back to work on Monday, so... That's a whole different story, but little things like that, I can just manage them. And we're kind of thankful we're taking care of this. We got the bears, so they're coming out as good as they need to be. And I'm going to stop right here, and we'll hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.